We'll look at some features called deleting and hiding in this movie and learn where and why you might want to use some of these or not, just a feature of anime. The first thing we'll take a look at is hiding edges. What I'm going to do is draw a mouth in this basic character that I have done on one layer. Come to the add point tool. I have sharp corners enabled. I'm going to click and drag and click and drag and we'll get a very, very basic mouth going on right here. That joins up. I will grab the curvature tool. Actually, let me deselect those points. Come back to our curvature tool. And I can click and drag and smooth that out. We'll do the same thing here so we get those nice sharp terminations on the edge of the mouth. And then I'll click in the middle and we'll center this just a little bit because I'm a perfectionist. Now, for example, if we wanted the interior of this mouth to be kind of red instead of this odd flesh color that I have selected right here. So if we go to something more like that, that's just weird looking. Okay, there's a little more believable color. Believable, right? Orange. We've got the inside of the mouth, but I may want to hide this upper lip right here. If I select this and we increase the width of the line to something like 8, let me select off that, we get a very defined mouth. That may be desirable, it may not, but here's what we're going to do. With the object selected right here, I have the ability to hide these lines, but still keep this a solid shape that will fill with color. The way that I can do that is come on over here to the Hide Edge tool, which is under the Fill category of the Drawing Tools. When I select that, any edge that I happen to select is going to disappear. So it removes the stroke from it. So if I happen to click off this here, this gives us the ability to maybe have a darker red if we wanted a lipstick or something like that. If I come back to the Shape tool, I don't know if this is male or female, but let's go ahead and say, you know what, let's give you some red lips here and choose OK. Clicking off this, we've got the ability to hide lines like that. Now, what's the difference between hide and delete? Well, when we delete an edge, it changes the object into something that cannot have a fill. When we select the delete edge here, and I choose that, our shape immediately empties of any type of color. We can go ahead and assign a stroke if we want to, but that's the primary difference between deleting an edge and not deleting one. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. Well, then why would you want to delete an edge? Well, let me show you what I've got in mind here. If we wanted to go ahead and I selected the face here so that it would change the style palette over here, let's assume that we wanted to go ahead and draw some perfect round ears that we attach onto the character. What I can do is just draw a basic shape then I can go ahead and come over to the Delete Edge tool and delete these two, and they're gone. I can then grab this item right here if I'm looking for perfection, and I can get it very close to the object, choose each one of these points individually, and we've got this Auto Weld feature that goes on inside of Anime. I select that, and it automatically joins up. I can go ahead and use the Bucket tool fill that in, and we get an ear, the same color that's been now magically welded onto the side of our character's head. Now you'll notice when it does that, that it interpolates some of the curves that join up together and is adding points, and it changed the shape of the character's head. Now I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's something to be aware of when we're working. And that's the difference between deleting edges, possibly welding them back in, and hiding edges, which allows you to hide the stroke while maintaining the fill of the object.